Hey everybody, it's Jim, and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. Now, last time we went over the fact that Corn Shell scripts can take command line arguments. And this was known as dollar sign one. The second variable is known, the second argument is known as dollar sign two. Third argument is known as dollar sign three, so forth and so on. And the name of the script, as you type it in on the command line, is known as dollar sign zero. However, what I wanted to go over today is that all of these get put into an array, and you can access that array. The array name ends up being called dollar sign at or dollar sign asterisk. However, what I also wanted to go over was the fact that if you put the array names if you put the dollar sign at in double quotation marks, or if you put the dollar sign asterisk in double quotation marks, they have slightly different meanings. These two are exactly identical. They mean arrays that contain all the command line arguments, dollar one through dollar whatever. This also means an array or a list of the command line arguments, dollar one through dollar whatever. This, however, what it does is it takes all the command line arguments, puts them on one string, puts them into one string, and separates them by space. So all of these are arrays. This just turns into one string. And I wanted to go over that. And I wanted to go over how you would access each of these values within the array, each of these values within the array, with a for statement. So, all I do here is I print a title so that you can see which type of array we're working on. In this case, it's the dollar sign at. Now, we're using a for statement, and it says take this dollar sign at, which is a list of all of the entries on the command line, plop all those entries in right here, and one at a time, feed them into the variable arg. And for each entry, whatever is between the do and the done. In this case, we're simply printing it out. And remember that the print statement automatically appends a carriage return to the end of whatever it prints. So this should, in theory, take, expand this out to one, two, three, four, five. It will be a list of five separate entries feed them into arg one at a time, and print them on their own separate line. So we should have one, two, three, four, five on five separate lines. Let's take a look. So we are dealing with the dollar sign at right there. And as you can see, it took each entry and printed it on its own line. Now, for the dollar sign asterisk, what should happen is that it should plop down all of the entries right here and expand it out into a list. And so this should look like four arg in one, two, three, four, five as five separate entries. It will assign each variable, each value, into arg, and then do whatever is between the do to the done. And in this case, it's simply another print statement. And as I said, the print automatically adds a carriage return. So we should once again see one, two, three, four, five on their own separate lines. And as you can see, dollar sign asterisk, one, two, three, four, five on their own separate lines because this right here expands out into five separate entries. So only thing I'm doing here is I'm printing them, but if you're working on an actual script, you'd actually put some real code in here, like maybe you're summing up a bunch of numbers, and you just have a command called sum.ksh, and you type in 5, 10, however many numbers, and in here it does all the math for you. Okay, this right here is the dollar sign asterisk 
excuse me, dollar sign, at sign in the quotation marks. And as I said, this also expands out into a list of five separate variables because we entered five separate command line arguments. So this right here should look identical to the first two, where this is a list of five entries. Each entry gets fed into arg. And then we do whatever is between the do to the done. And we just print it out with a carriage return appended. So as you can see, right here, it does in fact happen, where each entry is printed on its own line. Now for the last example, we put the dollar sign asterisk in double quotes. And as I said, that will actually take all five entries and concatenate them into one string separated by space. So this turns into four arg in one entry. One entry consisting of a string of one space, two space, three space, four space, five. So therefore, this list is one entry long. That gets fed into arg, and it gets printed out as one entry. And to take a look at it, as you can see, it did in fact get entered as one entry. Now the reason why I go over this is sometimes you may want to actually print out all the values on one string, on one line or make them into one string. This will do that for you.